Hello, welcome to another episode of Commander Doodle. So, for this episode, we are on the set Kaldai, and I've chosen a Psyker, God of the Tree. So, it's a legendary creature god, has vigilance. You can tap, add one mana of any colour. Other legendary creatures you control have vigilance and tap, add one mana of any colour. It is one of these modal spells. It has at the beginning of your upkeep reveal cards from the top of your library until you reveal a creature or planeswalker card. Put that card onto the bottom. Put that card, sorry, onto the battlefield and the rest on the bottom of your library in a random order. So we, and with this, of course, the advantage is we have five colour. So yeah, we have a choice here. So what I've done at the moment is I've simply put in from the set some legendaries. You can see here we've got Vorinclex, Varagoth and Coma. We have an instant. We have a planeswalker, okay, uh, the inexorable. We have an artifact in the form of replicating ring, which we can tap for one manner of any colour. And then we have an enchantment. So we're just going to use that as our seed. Um, at the moment I have regular basic lands. I'm probably going to sub these out with snow lands at some point. So let's dive in. And see what we get recommended. So I'm going to go with this legendary creature, legendary planeswalker theme and see where it takes me. Just general legendary, a legendary theme. Okay, so I think what I'll do first of all is we'll get some utility in here in the form of sorceries cool nice modal spell there also it's going to suggest things like this from the set I've left it fairly open because I didn't quite know where it would go the ultimate. What have we got further down? So I suppose as we're in green, a bit of ramp. Okay, let's go with that for the moment. Maybe another deck that, with the able help of um, EDH Rec, it may just build itself. Okay, so that shows you why it's worth, um, you know, every time you make a change to the deck, just redoing this search. Okay. And of course, we're playing Wooberg, so. You 
you know, it's just a case of good stuff. I suppose it also means I could play a few pet cards, couldn't I? So that's our instance sorted out. <laughs> Interesting, like a fog type effect in, yeah, it just fascinates, fascinating. So it looks like it, it's fun to play. I mean, of course, in a five color deck, um, yeah, the polity, the polities, the possibilities are endless. Okay, let's leave the planeswalkers and creatures till last. What have we got here, artifact wise? Planeswalkers you can try have. Yeah. Add one man of any colour in your commander's colour identity. Yeah, yeah. Soul Ring, of course. Yeah. Ten artifacts. What was the one that was already in here? Oh, replicating ring. I'm just trying to think whether there was there anything here which would benefit from Snowlands. Mm. Well, okay, we'll give it a try. I'm not, like I said, I'm not too fussed, but it might just be cool, um, aesthetic wise, to have basic snowlands in here I'm just not putting them in at the moment because I don't necessarily want any sort of biasing in the algorithm to go in a certain way so that's why they're not in yet I just wanted to see what would happen if I did that enchantments Nearly forgot my my own rule there. But I'm not sure if I did it after I did the other ones, but anyway. So I want a doubling season. Maybe put one or more counters on the. I'm going to play it all with. Yeah, okay. Oops. Yeah. Whenever an opponent comes to, so. Okay, we could do. Mystic study and smothering ties. Nice. 
Okay, it's starting to shape up here. Um, anything I don't want. I don't know if I need that. Let's just take that out. So I'm just looking for a higher mana stuff. Let me just sort this by mana value. I mean that's fine because you would want that later in the game anyway. I just want to be careful about clogging my hand up. Let me just take that out for the moment. Firstly, let's look at the creatures. So I'm interested in anything that doubles up counters, that proliferate, cares about legendary creatures. Okay, I'm just going to stop there for the moment. I'll probably revisit this. But I'm just going to... See what sort of planeswalkers we get. Okay. Oh, just please.
again, let's just see what's further down. Do I want pirates? Yeah, you never know. Creatures, although you know, it's going to be spitting out soldier tokens. I suppose, although I am playing doubling season, yeah, this is interesting. Token route. Okay, so 10 still. We've got 12 planeswalkers. I'm just going to keep up with the planeswalker attrition. And, but I will see what happens now. Seems insistent. Making sure as many of these are legendaries as possible. What's my color balance like? deck as well as I think it is it's not too bad it's always four it's not so much red in here do I want to drop the red because at the moment I'm only playing it because of this oh and uh, yeah do I, do I do need it to cast that as well hmm I'm going to take that out double red I think my oh, nickel bottles needs it. yeah so there's a few things here yeah okay but I'm going to just not have any double red stuff I think make life a bit easier yeah land's going to be interesting I could play those snow jaw lands actually. That would be an interesting thing to do. Might slow me down a little bit. Right. Let's try again. Let's get some samurais in here, shall we? Okay, what is it? Okay, Tarifi's bubbled up. Instant. Yeah. 
There's tarifis everywhere. Okay, anything else? fun. Two more to go. And then we'll sort out the mana base. Although, do I want to leave enough wiggle room? Yeah, maybe... Maybe I'll leave that for land. Let's look at the land now. Okay. I think thematically I'm just going to put some, some dual lands in here. Um, let's get Command Tower in here. Get that in. That's my two. I just could have play <sighs> decisions decisions I don't think I missed anything here where I specifically need to do that. I know the legendary is from Kaldine, but I can't bother too much. Right, I know what I'll do. Oops. Okay, let's. Seems to be. It seems to be me wanting to play these more expensive lands. So. Let's just go. We we won't worry too much about the price of the debt. You can sub out cheaper stuff here. 
Um, so what I want to do is play all of these. What am I missing? Let me... So the Guild of Ravnica. And Ravnica Allegiance. So let me just check something. Gonna actually probably easier to do that. It, when I'm missing, may well come up. Oops. Failing that, I'll go through the search and do it that way. I could play the original. <laughs> yeah, no. It's funny. Question is, did I get the right ones? So that must be the one I'm missing. Because that was 40, 37 when I started, so let's grab that. for everything well, let's try that first of all so if I just take out to each of these Probably might want to play five of the fetch lands as well. It's an expensive mana base. Let's just see how this shapes up. So I kind of look like pretty dreadful, probably in terms of planeswalkers. Right, let's do a few sample hands. Uh, 
actually I'm just gonna because where are we yeah leave it like that don't have much red but uh, I should yeah just leave it equal distance yeah, it's a stupidly priced deck, so um, I mean, you know, the alternative. So you can see the bulk of the price. Well, it's all over this place actually. We got two hundred dollars in creatures, two hundred plus in planeswalkers. Yeah, it's not a not a cheap deck to put together. So it's not as if you could even just oh yeah I want to play around with this design. Yeah, I mean you could build up one with like cheaper legends and planeswalkers in it. But uh, yeah. Let's just do some sample hands. See how we fare in terms of getting stuff out. So where possible we're just going to take the the life hit we need to wow got a ton of lands in here so. come on tower so we're coming so really so this gives us white if we need it we have here um, I mean we actually don't need any red yet really so now I probably want access to red and white so I would take the the life hit there's my commander so if I want to go down the other route um, yeah we need access to Wooburg. So yeah, get our get our Wooburg out and we're good to go. Hmm, that's white anyway. Stubble blue for the I saw it coming. mistake I should have got there but it uh, doesn't matter anyway so I can now yeah, four five six yeah so I can start getting planeswalkers out white blue so what am I missing I'm missing black I've got red and white, blue and red and white, I'm missing black and green at the moment. Okay, good. All right.
there's our green. We're still missing. Oh no, sorry. Of course, I can use this. So yeah, we could we could now cast this. Does it let me flip this? No. Okay. Interesting. Anyway. There must be a way here. Do I have to... Okay, maybe I need to put both in there. Yeah, I'm not quite sure how that works. Anyway. Oh, okay. That worked. Don't know quite what I did there, but it worked eventually. Yeah, so, so yeah, it took a little while for this to come online, but now we're good. So let's just look through. Oh, there's our black. Right. Let's try this again. Just going to look at hands, I think, now. That's not good. That's better. So red, blue, there's our green. There's our white, there's our black. Excellent. So all five colours. And then... Okay, good. Red, green, white on this one. And if we stick with that... Okay, we have a cultivate, which we can't crack. So now we're a little stuck. Chromatic lantern, which we can't cast. So now we've got a discard. Okay, so this was not such a good hand. Oh, we're starting to get more land. Okay, a couple more times here. Command tower, access to so access to any cars with three lands, blue and black. I suppose our main problem is we do have a bit of a high curve in some of the spell types. Yep, so there's a few more things. Well, one more thing that's castable. Okay. Good. Okay, this is good. It's green, white, we're still. Yeah, you can see this is the only thing. There's a five card general. We need to get, or if we want to do the five, five card version, that's five color version, sorry. Um, we might need to tweak our mana base a bit. It's 
So that's not too bad. We've got four lands there. So we're making all our land drops. I mean, if it's l if we're lucky, yeah, I'm a bit concerned about the curve, really. Missing green, yeah. So, oh, there we go. It's got green now. So, mm. yeah, I'd have to. I think personally, to go down this particular strategy, I'd really need to know this a lot better. Um, yeah, it's a neat thing to try out. The only problem is, I don't know if you tried to produce, say, you know, like a lot of this, if you just want to try it out, if you're doing this in paper, it's it's expensive. And normally, you know, me personally, if I want to try something out, I'd like to do it cheaply. So it would be a question of putting together like a five color deck. OK, the, ex the, you know, the commander's $20, but a five color deck with cheap utility creatures and cheap uh, planeswalkers but then that i don't know if you'd get as good utility as, as the stuff in here so yeah i don't think it would be anything i would uh, want to necessarily build in paper i mean obviously there's cheaper lands you could potentially use there's the the two color lands but it would slow everything down quite a bit and so much of this stuff yeah, you can see here I mean we get to here and we're already getting up to nearly like this five mana here this is not so it's too bad we got four color card here this I'm not too worried about the instance um, yeah this is a little bit scary creature wise so I'm not convinced really it's it's a strategy I'd I'd want to pursue in physical cards but you know part of the fun of this series is I get to try out stuff um, without it costing me anything apart from my time so thanks once again for watching bye for now and I will catch you in the next episode